Hi everyone, um, I am a little bit under the weather today, so sorry it took me so long to put this video together, but I did want to make sure to get it done. Um, evidently I got that cold flu that has been going around, so hopefully I didn't get you all sick last night. Uh, take your vitamin C. Um, all right, so week six, uh, we went over response to intervention, culturally responsive pedagogy, and then informal assessments, and we also practiced the Woodcock-Johnson last night. Uh, you can see on the PowerPoint, which is somewhere around here, uh, anyway, it's right there, um, uh, all of those different pieces, and really what I wanted to do was really draw the connection between response to intervention and what you're going to be doing with uh, all the assessment information in your report. So that you start thinking about like, hmm, how would I monitor the student's progress? How would I work with other people to make sure that their goals were being met? That type of thing. Um, and so for this week, we're look, doing a reading on academic assessments. And it's a reading that goes through a lot of the different um, components of the um, different types of tests for ac um, assessing academics. So they actually do talk about like the Woodcock Johnson and things like that in there. So you don't have to read every single sentence of every single assessment, but become familiar with that chapter. Uh, and so that you have kind of a go-to place for, um, you know, if you wanted to learn more about a student's um, math levels or something like that, then you go and look and see which kind of academic assessments work for math. I really need you to start administering those assessments you have until April 3rd, and remember that there is spring break in there uh, to get those all um, done so that you can bring your protocols in for me to check them. Uh, we've got critical reflection number six, which includes the IRIS module on high stakes testing. And then I'd ask you to click on this link so that you can RSVP to the Johnson Fellows and click on this link so that you can uh, sign up for um, our one-on-one -on -one meetings next week. Um, and I believe you all had that done last night. So um, here's the IRIS module. There's the link to it. And just answer the questions in the assessment part. And then I just want to know if you've completed the necessary interviews and observations. Yes. And if not, then please explain. Uh, and then describe your plan for administering the norm reference test, which will be the Woodcock-Johnson, the criterion, which most people are doing either the Brigance or the Easy CBM, um, and also collecting work samples. Uh, and then how will you train and support your team to be more culturally responsive when assessing learners? And then uh, listen to this podcast, and it's about 10 minutes, and it's about taking, you know, quiet time as well. So hopefully it's it's useful, and I just want you to write one message that you'll take with you. Uh, let's just go through this really quickly um, so that I can highlight. Whoops. Let me make sure that there is. Oh, I'm sorry. I will move this over here. I remember we talked about the um, four criterion reference that the independent level is 90 to 100. Instructional is 75 to 90, but really 80 to 90 is really good, and then frustration is when somebody's working below 75% correct. And so you use that when you're trying to figure out how to, uh, what the sweet spot is for um, a student's instructional level or frustration level even. Um, and, oh, and then I wanted to make sure to remind you of this, that next week we'll be doing the individual check-ins. Then the week after that, you'll be doing field administration, so we won't be meeting in class, but if you need any help, please let me know. And then spring break, and then you'll come back. I'll check your protocols. We have the Johnson Fellow event, and then the scoring um, day is on the 10th, so um, all the data needs to be collected by the 10th. Um, and then we'll be working on the rest of the report. Um, and that's the reflection. And the, uh, what's next, I think, oh, there was one other thing that came up. Somebody was asking about the parent interviews, um, and I wanted to remind you, uh, this is week four in the PowerPoint, and I talked about the t teacher, the parent, and the student interviews. And what are the questions that you're asking, but about the student's strengths, preferences, interests, and needs, and then the educational history uh, that you're, you're going to use. Um, that 
I'm sorry, the educational history that, that you need to know in order to understand that student, any personal or family information that might help you understand that student, anything that works, um, and also any accommodations or modifications or supports that haven't worked in the past, and then anything else that they want to tell you about. So I just wanted to remind you of this slide. Um, so I think that's basically it. Of course, as always, please reach out if you need anything. All right, have a great night. Bye.